Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. I'm so glad that you stopped by today. It looks like you want to learn how to make some sourdough cinnamon rolls. So if that is the case, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how easy these are to make. The good thing about sourdough cinnamon rolls is that this is a good way to use up your sourdough discard, the starter. So whenever you feed it, instead of you know composting that or throwing it away, you can use that to make these cinnamon rolls. Now what we're going to do is the night before you want to bake them, you're going to take a stick of butter and you're going to use a cheese grater to grate that into a bowl. And that's going to help make these little pieces, which then will add the flour and you can use a bench scraper to kind of chop that butter up and do what's called cutting that into the flour. So you just want to uh, take the bench scraper or if you don't have one of those, you can use a fork and just incorporate the butter and the flour together until you get a pretty small crumb. Next, you're going to add the buttermilk and the starter and some honey. And all you're going to do is just mix that up with a spatula or a fork or just something that you can use until all the ingredients get nice and incorporated. Cover that up and set it on your counter and just let it rise overnight. So in the morning, whenever you're ready to bake, you'll see that the, uh, the dough is very, very bubbly all around the sides and it's bent because it's been fermenting on the counter overnight. And you're gonna add some salt and some baking soda, soda and some powder. And you're just going to take your hands and mix that in. And the dough shouldn't be too sticky at this point, maybe just a little bit, but you wanna go ahead and use your hands to incorporate those three ingredients. And then you want to take a stick of melted butter and butter your cast iron skillet. So once you have all those ingredients incorporated together. You're going to generously flour your work surface. Don't be afraid to use a lot of flour here. And then dump that dough onto the surface. And then um, go ahead and flour the top of the dough so that way it doesn't stick to your rolling pin. And you're going to roll that out into a rectangular shape. So about um, 20 inches by 12 inches, something like that. Go ahead and just roll that out and it's going to be about a quarter of an inch thick. Then take the uh, melted butter and just brush that on top of the dough. And then take the cinnamon sugar mixture, which you'll, you'll have made. It's three quarters cup of brown sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon all mixed together. Just sprinkle that on top and kind of spread it out evenly and leave a little edge uh, on one side so that way the dough can stick to itself. And then just starting at one side, you're gonna roll that dough up into a log shape. And I have a bench scraper, so if any dough is stuck to the countertop while I'm trying to roll that up, I just use that little bench scraper to kind of lift and so that the dough doesn't tear. So just do that. And once you have it rolled up into a log, you're just gonna cut it into about 12 pieces. They're gonna be about an inch and a half thick. And then arrange those in your buttered cast iron skillet and just leave a little space around each one of them to expand. And then you're gonna bake that in a 375 degree oven for about 35 to 40 minutes or until it gets you know nice and golden brown on top. Then while those are cooking, you're gonna go ahead and mix up your icing. The icing that I like to use has a little bit of butter, vanilla, some milk, and powdered sugar. And you just mix all that up and kind of set it aside. It's real thick, like the kind you get at the grocery store in the little cans. So just set that aside while they're baking. And as soon as they come out, you'll wanna go ahead and top each one of the cinnamon rolls with some of that icing while they're still hot. And then go ahead and serve. So that's really how easy it is to make sourdough cinnamon rolls. Because we use the baking soda and the baking powder, there's no need to have a second rise. That helps the, that second rise. So again, this is a, a beginner's recipe. It's super, super easy. You just put everything in a bowl the night before, let it sit all night long, you know, add the couple of extra ingredients in the morning, roll it out, you, you know, put the uh, cinnamon sugar on, roll it up and put it in the oven. That's it. And I guarantee you, your family is going to love these cinnamon rolls. They are delicious. 
So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you try these, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know how they turned out. I'd love to know. And um, I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.